So I'm, I'm curious for all of you, um, we had a big result uh, recently with, uh, from the recovery trial with dexamethasone. <laughs> and it's obviously very exciting to hear that a treatment actually helped in ARDS and apparently helped by being an immune modulator. Um, I'm curious, kind of a two-part question. Were you surprised that a steroid had such a robust effect in that trial? And then we only have really the top line sentence, right? We know the hazard ratios and it's a table. So what do we want to know about that? Now that we've heard that there's this big result that there was an immune modulating agent that had an effect, what do we need to know about that, both to put it into practice and scientifically to understand that? Well, I'll start off. I, um, I was astonished, actually, that that had happened. I mean, I think our in infectious disease community and our intensivists in our ICU, mm -hmm. after 30 years, have been doing trials with corticosteroids and, um, and never have seen a trial that was really positive or a trial that was confirmed subsequently. So they've looked at ARDS from bacteria, bacteria, from traumatic injuries to the lungs. And in many trials, they've tried TNF inhibitors. There are, there are biotechs you probably know that have come and gone because the trials failed. Um, and, and so I think, um, first of all, this needs to be in a peer-reviewed publication. Um, you know, we, we have to be cautious. And so I don't know why this trial seems to be positive and so many others, including previous trials of coronaviruses, with MERS and SARS, mm -hmm. this wasn't seen. So it, I mean, there was a Lancet publication in ARDS from other viruses and that showed a benefit, but it was, you know, it's like a 15% benefit, not a 30% benefit. Yeah. And other trials have actually shown, um, you know, adverse events. Right. And later, as you know, either poor viral immunity or uh, uh, more uh, uh, secondary infections, opportunistic. And so my bet is they may have just threaded the needle perfectly with a low dose at the right time in the infection. Mm -hmm. I mean, assuming this can be confirmed, it's just very surprising to me.